actually imagine, uh, so I, I haven't seen this matchup. There are a lot of matchups I guess a lot of folks haven't seen. Uh, but I imagine Zelda must get a little bit overwhelmed the moment that Yoshi breaks in. There is Nairu's love to help build up a little bit of that space, but then there's still potential of just Suarez waiting it out and finding a punish right afterwards. Right. And that's the thing, right? Yoshi's drift is so good that Suarez was actually able to go out there and try to go for the fair and then cover the teleport recovery afterwards mm -hmm. after he misses it. And that's what makes the character feel so suffocating to play against. Is that it's just like he's suddenly everywhere. <laughs> like he was able Where do you to, go? He was tossing out a fair to cover you up in a high recovery corner and then still covered your wake up exactly. right afterwards. <laughs> Alright man, Suarez off to a super, super early lead. Put on a whole bunch of percent with that, uh, those first few fairs. This is man, looking that down air. Ooh, there's man. VG already taking 72%. Looking at death percent once again, and Suarez trying to cover the wake up, just barely shy of covering their roll get up. Looks like he was looking for a jab there. But still, keeping up the pressure, not really giving a reason to stop because the hitbox is beat yeah. out the Phantom Knight. <laughs> it's unpunishable. <laughs> it's unpunishable. <laughs> he only got punished because he spot that. <laughs> I, I honestly, I'm not sure what he was looking for. Maybe he was looking for a, like a command grab instead to catch the shield, and like accidentally right. got the side B. There's oh, you're punish. dead. Yeah, done. Yeah, Yoshi is absolutely fast enough to catch that as well. Looks like VG's kind of like a little bit uh, at his wit's end in terms of like, what do I do when the pressure's on? I'm trying to do some like crazy wild card things, but he's so fast he can still catch him. Yeah, man, Suarez is just keeping the pace. Oh, there's gonna be a lightning kick, <laughs> and that's gonna be it. There All you right, go. VG putting himself on the board. Speaking and of truncating combos. Yeah, but he, right there he immediately like put himself at disadvantage. And so pe some people are like so threatened by the thought of your opponent having invincibility that they just run to the ledge. It's and you gotta like use your movement, like you know, exactly. make, make, make them chase after you and then potentially put themselves in an overextended position where they're no longer invincible and you can punish it even. It, yeah, like, like you say, it speaks to a, a lack of confidence in your movement ability, in your uh, in your play where you're just like, I want the safety blanket of the ledge invincibility. Oh, there you go. Forward air, just way off the edge. Like, Looking for that safety blanket of invincibility for like the ledge, just yeah. like I know for sure he can't hit me immediately, but like yeah. you're putting He's yourself. Invincible. I need to be invincible. Yeah, you're, but by doing that, you're putting yourself in the same position that you lost your earlier two stocks were from like the ledge area. So like you're already putting yourself in a terrible spot right afterwards. But Suarez just looked kind of unstoppable there. Yeah, like, he it, was smothering him. It's, I mean, like, I I don't have quite a, a grasp on what VG could do to immediately shake off the pressure that was all over him. We, we saw the attempt to, uh, we saw some Nehru's loves come out. We saw some uh, attempts to up the out of the situation. And Yoshi was just able to outweigh and like still throw out moves to cover those later options just out of speed. I think that VG never really mixed up his timing, right? Like uh, when, yeah. he, when he was getting off of ledge, he was the same general time that he was going to get off the ledge. When Suarez would go out with the fair attempts, like he would always up be in the same general situation. So Suarez was just able to consistently cover everything because he knows around the same time that he's going to come up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I think these these Pharaoh's wins on stage just aren't working for VG. Like he's yeah. he's been trying them, but every time Suarez is fast enough to react and chase it down and get something. Yeah, Yoshi's just too fast for that, man. Other characters, definitely gonna work, but Yoshi's not one of them. Drag down into the forward smash, that is not true, but uh, VG must have pressed a button or something. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just keeps applying the pressure. And Keat uh, almost shoves VG off stage. Yeah. That could have been really scary. We've seen those forward airs line up a lot. Kind of looking for these highlight reel combos, really looking to put the mix-ups into play and do some interesting stuff that we haven't seen before even. Mm -hmm. And already caught off stage. Ooh, <laughs> the reversal. <laughs> VG. Yeah, Sora's overextending a little bit too much and yeah. then getting caught on the back foot. He like started going out and then he recognized, oh, I, I can't go out right now. Yeah, like I'm not going to catch him. But Suarez is still just tossing out eggs. Now looking for the forward air. We see that weight this time too. It's like, is he going to Pharaoh's win immediately? Yeah. Suarez doesn't quite find it, but look, I think he's just waiting for a flint from VG. Gets himself that uh, Yoshi bomb. Yeah, I mean, he's just waiting for him to push a button on him, right? Mm -hmm. Come attack my shield so I can punish it. Wait for that spot dodge. That seems to be kind of the, the main play for Suarez now in the, in the neutral. He's just he's getting close to VG, and he's just seeing, all right, I'm going to let VG press a button, and I'm going to hit him for doing something. Ooh. There we go. Beautiful follow-up after the egg, and Suarez takes it commandingly over VG. Yeah, you can't let Yoshis get that egg in that situation. you got to start drifting back a little bit. You've mm. just got to accept the fact, hey, I'm a disadvantage. i got to go to the ledge. Yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta dip out of here. If I try to land on stage right now, it's gonna be too unsafe. Especially against a character like Yoshi, who can cover so many options, in, like how we saw him drifting back and forth, yeah. covering all that. So, you know, VG just kind of needs to drift to the ledge there. It's like he held in. It, it's it's the it's 
hard, it's so much easier to say than do in yeah. the stress of a tournament yeah, set, yeah, but like being willing to exist in what feels like a very crappy situation and like opting in for like, I'm gonna make this feel even worse for a little bit longer. Right, right. Like it's hard to do, but you, like, you have to be willing to do that. And sometimes that looks like um, like doing like roll get up from the ledge, right? It never feels good to do roll get up because you're like you feel like you're flipping a coin and you might yeah. die. But sometimes you do have to roll get up because your opponent is so ready to react to your neutral get up and your other stuff that they'll let you slip past. I think that's a big part of this game is that like option coverage is mostly limited to you want to cover normal get up, jump get up, and get up attack. Right? Mm. Those are kind of like the areas that you want to cover, and most of the time it involves standing just in front of roll range. Yeah. And so a lot of people get so f hyper focused on covering those three options because they're you know the most option coverage possible that they you know sometimes you can slip by with the roll but once you do it once they're always.